Hello everybody. Today I thought we would do another drawing together and I was talking with Aubrey in my class this morning and one of the things that she really wants to learn how to do is how to draw a unicorn and it was so funny because that was my plan. Our Wonder Wednesday this week is are unicorns real? And so I thought it would be fun to try to learn how to draw a unicorn. So let's give it a go together. Um, today we're going to start off with sh some shapes first to help us with the final shape of the unicorn. So we're going to start by drawing some shapes which won't look like they're a unicorn at first. And then we're going to use those shapes to help us figure out how the unicorn will fit onto our paper. So you'll see. So. I recommend that you start with a pencil for this part because you're probably going to want to erase it after we finish the the final parts. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to disappear so that you can focus on the paper. And I've got today I've got a pencil. I have an eraser because I'm going to want to erase my pencil lines later and I have a marker for drawing once I'm ready for that. So this is this looks like a pen but it's actually a pencil with an eraser on the end. So we're going to map out the shape of our unicorn first. We're going to start with an oval in a circle. So I don't know how to get rid of this shadow so we'll just ignore it for now. Okay so here is the first step. We're going to draw an oval in the middle of our paper and behind the oval touching we're going to draw a circle and I'm drawing these quite hard so that you can see them you can draw them really lightly and they don't have to be perfect because they're just going to guide us so I'm just doing them a little bit darker so you can see them you if you can draw them with a really light hand that would be good because we actually are going to erase these later they're just going to help us make the shape Okay, so coming out of our um, oval, about a middle of the way through, we're going to draw a triangle. And the triangle is going to look like this. It's going to come up, and the line will come here, kind of like the edge of the oval. So we're going to draw one triangle that way. And if you need to, just pause the video to catch up with me. Like you can press pause and then you can really look at what I've done and then you can do it too. Don't feel like you have to keep up with me because I might be going a little bit too fast for you. Okay, then we're going to do another triangle. This time it's going to come this way and this way. So watch, we're going to start here and we're going to come to the side and then we're going to come to the top of that triangle and connect those two lines to make another triangle. That's going to be our unicorn's head. This is going to be the front part of the body. This is going to be the bottom or the back end. Now let's sort of map out our legs. So we're going to come from the front of our oval. We're just going to do stick legs right now. We're going to come, this one's going to be a bent leg to the side and down. And then let's put where the hoof would be. A little triangle at the bottom just to help us remember. That's going to be one front leg. Then the other front leg is going to come out kind of right where that last that one touched the body. We're going to come straight down with this one. This is going to be a straight leg. And we're going to put a hoof at the bottom too. Just a little triangle to help us remember. Now let's go over to the back. So coming out of the circle now, this is going to be a bent leg too, but the back legs bend backwards. Did you know that? And then we're going to add the little hoof at the bottom, just to remember. Okay, so we've got two front legs, one back leg. We need one more back leg. It's going to come from towards the back of the circle, and it's going to bend, but not quite as much. It's going to be a little bit shorter because it's behind. Okay, and then the hoof. Now is when we start to add the details. So this is the part that we're doing with our pencil just to help us when we get to the marker stage know where things are going to go. This helps us figure out the body position. So I'm finished with my pencil now. I'll put it over, I'll put it here. 
And I'm going to pick up my marker and let's start with the eye so that it'll start to come to life. So do you see here where this line goes down in the middle of this triangle at the top? We're going to put a big eye there and it's going to look strange to start, but it'll look better once we get going. A big eye and I'm going to do my light catching trick, some little white accents and color it in. If you want to be fancy, you could add some eyelashes to your unicorn. Oh, I think I will. Oh, now I wish I hadn't because that went too close. <laughs> That's okay. It'll be good. And now we're going to start to create the shape of the head. So right underneath that eye, we're going to make like, do you see, we're going to follow this line, but not, we're not going to go straight. We're going to make it a little bit curvy, like it has a cheek. So we're going to curve down. And then we're going to curve around to the front. And we're not going to make it pointy like a triangle because that's not how unicorn's faces look. So we're going to kind of keep it kind of square. And then we're going to curve, go more straight line here, up. And stop about there. Starting to look like a unicorn, a little bit. Now let's add an ear. So up here, above the triangle, Let's do one ear shape like that. I didn't put the bottom on, I just did the top. And sometimes they have like that smooth part on the inside. I might just add that. Okay, we're starting to get a unicorn shape now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in all this place with the mane, the hair that grows on the head of a unicorn. So I'm gonna come like this. Now yours can look however you want yours to look but I'm gonna have mine kind of curve up and around. And then I'm gonna do the horn, I think. The horn's gonna come out of here. So I'm gonna come straight up and straight down like that. That's gonna be the unicorn's horn. Okay, now I'm gonna do another piece of hair that's going to come behind that horn. So watch how I do it. I'm gonna curve up again and stop at the horn. And then I'm gonna come down here and connect it. So it looks like the horn goes right behind, sorry, it looks like the hair goes right behind the horn. Okay, let's put some swirls on the horn. I just do some little curved lines all the way up. You can do striped lines, you can do them straight. You don't have to have lines, but I kind of like the way that looks. And then when I color it, I can make it like a rainbow color if I want to. Now, I wanted to put the other ear back there, but I've made this hair come up so high that I don't think you would see the ear. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. If you have room, you can add a second ear on the other side. Okay, let's add a little tiny mouth right there. And let's add a nostril so that our unicorn can breathe. I'm gonna do a dot, and then I'm just gonna put a tiny little line at the top. If you wanna just put a dot, you just put a dot. Okay, now we're gonna fill in the back of the mane. Okay, so we're just gonna do the same kinds of things that we did here. We're gonna start with like a curvy line curve back up and we're going to keep going until we like the way our mane looks. Now I always think of unicorns having beautiful big manes that are colorful and blowing in the wind as they prance through this, the area. So there's the, the mane that I wanted to draw. I think I'm going to draw one more like this looks like it's missing a little bit right there. So that's the mane. It's already starting to look like a unicorn, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna leave the top part now and we're gonna come down and work on the legs a little bit. So, um, let me see here. I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start, we're not gonna start with a straight line. So do you see where this line is here? We're just gonna curve that line and come down almost to the leg. So see why it was so important for us to have that oval there? Because we can follow that shape with our pen as we draw. OK, 
Okay, now we're going to go around the outside of that line of the leg because the legs aren't skinny like a stick. Okay, so let's put in the hoof. I'm just going to go straight across like that and up again. See how I'm staying on the outside of the leg to make it wider? So the line that I first drew is in the middle and I'm making it much wider. Now, when I get over here, I'm just going to curve up. So watch what I do. I just curve up a little bit into the body. Okay, that's leg number one done. Now, we're going to go and do this leg right here. So, we're going to start kind of in the middle of that circle. And we're going to follow it around and go on the outside of the pencil line to make it wider. Okay, and then I'm going to draw the hoof, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go on the outside of that pencil line. Now when I get to about here, this is where I want you to stop a little bit. I'm not going to keep going all the way up because I'm going to curve it so that I can bring it to the back of the circle. Okay, so watch what I do. I'm going to start back here, kind of where the other leg is, and just connect those lines like that. Do you see that? And that way it's going to be part of this body part of the, the unicorn. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the body. So I'm going to start right about here, and I'm going to curve around that oval till I get to there and then I've got the body shape now let's do this leg this legs easy because it's very straight but I don't want to go straight I want to kind of curve in a tiny bit go on the side of the pencil let's make a hoof and then I'm going to curve again and come down the other side okay so it kind of connects to the body. It just gets a little bit wider just there at the top. All right, now let's see what we're gonna do. I think we'll do the tail now before we put in the leg because part of the leg is gonna be hidden by the tail. So a little bit at the back of the circle, kind of there, kind of halfway up the circle, we're gonna start a big bushy tail just the way we did the mane. So start with a big bushy shape and then we're going to keep going down. So this one's going to come this way. Let's have another one coming out like this. Another one on this side. This one's like covering up the leg there, but that's okay. Another one like this all the way down because I think that unicorns have most beautiful tails that are growing in all different directions. So I think that's going to be my unicorn's tail. Now, as you can see, there's only a little bit of the other leg left, and that's okay. But first, let's just do the back. So we're going to start with that tail left off. Follow the circle. You can dip down just a little bit and connect it to the oval. And there we have the body of our unicorn. That's pretty good. Now, the only thing that's left is this leg. And because it's hiding, I think what we'll do is, I think it was over here, but I think I'm just going to draw the edge of the leg like this, come down, put the hoof on, and have the leg come out there. Now, you see those pencil lines? They helped us get the shape of our unicorn, didn't they? But we don't need them anymore. So now I'm going to take my eraser. And because my marker isn't a pencil, it's a, it's a marker that's going to stay. When I erase it, the marker stays, the pencil goes, and I am left with the most beautiful unicorn there ever was. Isn't she great? Or he? I don't know. Now we get to be creative. Now we get to color. You could put stars on his rump. You could put 
rainbows here. You could put hearts. I think I'm just going to color the, the mane and the horn. I'm just getting out some colors that I think I want to use. I always think of kind of pinks and purples and blues. Kind of bubble gummy colors, I think, like these colors here. So what I would do is I would just start, maybe I'm going to have a golden, a golden horn and golden hooves. So I'm going to use yellow. Oh, I went right outside of the line. <laughs> Whoops, that's okay. No big deal. I'm going to do yellow on the hooves and yellow on the horn. And then I think for the mane, what I'm going to do is I'm going to like do this one pink and maybe this one pink. Just pick some to color in. I think I'll have two pinks down here. Let's see how many colors I'm going to need. Let's have a purple over here. And a purple over here. And a lighter purple. And a lighter purple. Hmm. I think I'll put some blue. I'm going to put a blue up top right there. And a blue right here. I think I'm going to do two blues on the top. And just one blue at the bottom to keep it a little bit different. Okay. Let's do a nice big magenta color here. This one's called raspberry. Kind of a reddish pink. Let's do one here. Reddish pink, raspberry color. How many more colors do I have? Oh, I have this teal color here. Let's do teal. And we'll do teal here. And you can see how the mane and the tail start to look good together. Okay, I've used up all my colors, so now I'm just going to decide which ones I want to do more of. I think I want a pink here too. I think I want a bit more pink because it's lighter and it looks a little bit brighter. Um, which other one do I like? I think I'll do another raspberry here. Just trying to think what would look nice beside the other colors. Raspberry there. Oh, maybe I'll do raspberry here too. And there we go. We have drawn a unicorn. But I'm sure you can be way more creative and add all kinds of details and colors into your unicorn too. Okay, let's write the word. Unicorn. Mm eh. Oh, or unicorn. There we go. We did it. We drew a unicorn. Give yourself a pat on the back, and if yours didn't look the way you want it to, keep trying. This is my second unicorn that I've tried. I did a practice one first to see if I could do it, and then I tried this one. So. It takes practice. You have to keep giving it lots of tries. But again, start with those shapes. Start with that oval and that circle and that triangle and that other triangle. And then, oops, some eraser dust. Then you will get a unicorn that looks kind of like this. Happy drawing, everyone. Oh, I better say goodbye. Where am I? There I am. Bye. Happy drawing. I hope you have a great day and that you're um, enjoying your time learning at home still. Talk to you soon. Bye.